Alrighty, fellas. The cooking event for 4.0 is finally here. Receivers of Friends from Afar, which I believe is the equivalent of like the bartending events from, I believe it was 3.6 or something like that. Basically, where just a bunch of characters just kind of visit you uh, as you're like working in the shops. And yeah, the characters at the show just seem to be randomized. Like, I think we had like seven like total visits uh, in the previous event. So I'm really excited to see who's going to show up in this event. And yeah, also the bar turning minigame was also somewhat relaxing as well. So I'm kind of hoping this uh, event is also like somewhat of the same thing. You know, <laughs> simple character interactions and also simple cooking fun. But alrighty, let's uh, go ahead and jump right into it then. I'm kind of excited for this actually, I have no clue who's gonna show up. <laughs> Check the notice outside Wangshu Inn. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna be applying for a job, <laughs> like a regular person. Wangshu Inn now hiring. Urgently seeking one temporary chef willing to pay top Mora salary negotiable. Look, Traveler, an urgent hiring notice and they're paying top Mora too! Oh, Paimon likes the sound of that. Strange, why would Wang Shu in suddenly need a new chef? What, is the guy, um, what, Ming Xiao retiring or something? Hmm, you're right, it is strange. Yan Xiao, that's his name. I thought it was Ming Xiao. Because that guy barely lets anyone ever set foot in his kitchen. Doesn't exactly seem like the type to hire help. The notice says interested parties should go upstairs and talk to the innkeeper Huayan. Should we go and see what's up? You want to check up on Yan Xiao? You want to check on how much your job pays, don't you? Uh, well, that. And to check up on Yan Xiao, of course. <laughs> sure, sure thing, buddy. Now you care about this person after like two years of not seeing them. Actually, yeah, when, when was the last time we saw Yan Xiao? I think it's got to be at least two years at this point we've seen him. Boss, uh, there's really no need for this. It's just a little burn, that's all. It won't get in the way of my work. A burn? Perhaps not. But continuing to work will only hinder your recovery. You need to rest for a few days. We'll figure something out. Huayan! Yan Xiao! Oh? Traveler and Paimon! What brings you to this neck of the woods? Uh, we saw your hiring notice downstairs. And we decided to come check out... Um... Check up on Yan Xiao. Yeah, sure, Paimon. <laughs> uh, I knew we shouldn't have posted that notice. It's really nothing to worry about. I'm fine. I swear. How kind of you. My thanks to you both. And thanks on Yan Xiao's behalf, too. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Yan Xiao. Just tell them what happened. Oh, all right. Well, basically, we had a lot of guests pouring in for the lantern rite. Things got busy, I started rushing, and I ended up accidentally burning my hand while plating a dish. Damn. <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound like you. Well, you know what they say. Play with fire long enough, and you're bound to get burned. E even the best chefs slip up sometimes. A anyway, it's nothing, uh, just a tiny burn. I can still... <laughs> even if it's just a tiny burn, a burn's still a freaking burn. Like, that's, that shit's gotta heal. Now, now. I don't want you pushing yourself. You'll only make it worse. And then you'll be looking at more than just a couple of days off to recover. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry, Ito, not now. <laughs> But the lantern rites only just finished, and we're still getting tons of guests. Now's not a good time for me to rest. B uh, plus, lots of the guests are visiting from other nations. Oh? We can't just bring in some random chef off the street. We have a reputation to uphold. I I refuse to let someone else ruin the good name we've made for ourselves here. We're getting visitors from other nations, you say. Hmm. <laughs> Listen to you. Anyone would think that you're the boss and not me. But he's not wrong. Yan Shao was one of the oh, yeah, right. <laughs> chefs tournament. Almost forgot about that event. How you look at it, his are big boots to fill. <laughs> yeah, get how about you just get Chang Ling aboard, yeah. I don't mean to boast, but any chef of my caliber probably has their own restaurant to look after. It's not gonna be easy to find <laughs> someone who's got the skills and has the time to help us out. Uh you're looking right at her. <sighs> Looks like we might have to increase the pay we're offering even further. Or, you know, hire me. Hmm. I'm right here. Do we know oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and has the time to help out? <laughs> Whoever could that be? Sometimes the answer you're looking for is right under your goddamn nose. Oh, of course, you! Yeah, Jesus, why do you think I came up here? Oh, I saw your hiring notice. Well, good luck. Bye-bye. Oh, right. Yes. 
Now I think about it, I do recall hearing good things about your cooking ability. I suppose I'd added you to my mental list of people who can hold their own in a combat situation, but forgot you can cook. Um, why are you even keeping a mental list of people who can fight? Yeah, what the fuck? And how long is that list? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a story for another time. More importantly, I'm sure Yan Xiao would be comfortable leaving his kitchen in your hands, if anyone's. What do you think, Yan Xiao? Well, since it's you, I suppose that's better than anyone else. What do you think, Traveler? Should we do it? Uh, you said something about increasing the pay. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day when Yan Xiao leaves the kitchen. Hey, you're gonna increase that pay, right? <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? Well, I'm a man of my word. You'll be compensated generously for your work. I should warn you that cooking for customers is quite a different ball game from cooking for yourself, so I'll stick around the kitchen over the next few days to help smooth things over. Oh, so he's not leaving the kitchen after all? <laughs> he's just sticking about and just watching the kitchen. <laughs> I believe there's some spare kitchenware here at the inn. Boss, would you mind? Of course, of course. I'll take care of it. Oh boy. <laughs> Whew. What the? Well Holy shit! Come, take a look. <laughs> we just this got a fucking Master Chef's table spot. right here. What the? <laughs> okay, this is the type of the stuff you see on fucking on fucking the Golden Ramsay programs or something. Holy shit! <laughs> this carpentry is incredible. You've missed your true calling. <laughs> ah, it's nothing. A little handicraft and elbow grease goes a long way. All right, Yan Xiao. I'll leave you to take it from here. All the trouble of building a new stovetop? Wait, it's Why a new one? The original? Boy, you really hate when people touch your stuff, huh? Did, did bro really just create this whole ass table within the span of like 10 minutes? <laughs> what the? No, no, it's nothing like that. As boss always says, hire who you trust and trust who you hire. I just thought the original setup might be a little, um, tall for you. Tall? Well, everyone looks short compared to you. Well, I don't think that'd be that big of a problem. I could just stand on a stool or something. Uh, uh, anyway, as I was saying, cooking for guests is different from cooking for yourself. Not only do you have to execute on taste, aroma, and appearance, but you also need to ensure speed, precision, and consistency. <laughs> Okay. Talk to Smiley and Chow and get to work. All right. There's no time to lose, so let's get started. I imagine you probably have a good handle on the cooking side of things already. What you need to pay attention to is remembering each table's order. Oh, God. Try not to get them mixed up. Oh, Pinot's memory is like a steel trap. <laughs> this is going to be a cinch. Is it? <laughs> Okay, at the end of the day, oh, okay, we're, we're not actually taking orders, it's just time skipping. <laughs> and we're flat exhausted. What ticket are we on again? <laughs> table one was onions, but no chilies. Table two was chilies, but no onions. And table three was, uh, table three was <laughs> chilies, but hold the chilies? All the guests have already finished eating. Snap out of it, Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, that Lumine face, though. You've been talking nonsense since about halfway through the day. Uh, we didn't even get a break in the middle. Paimon's brain has turned to mush. Is it always this busy here? No, but this is peak season. You both did a mighty fine job for your first time serving guests at the inn. Luckily, all our customers were familiar faces this time around, so we didn't get any strange requests. Otherwise... Today would have been even more challenging. Ah, I was, I was hoping I'd be able to, like, cook myself. No strange request? Someone asked for almond tofu drizzled <laughs> in soy sauce. <laughs> what? That combination. Is that Xiao? <laughs> Xiao, what the hell are you eating, my boy? <laughs> <laughs> it's a wide world out there. People have all kinds of different tastes. Being able to cater to all is the real essence of Liyue cuisine. Also... The thing about requests is that they're usually very specific. So as long as you do what they asked, you're unlikely to have any issues. What's really tricky is when guests give you free reign to do anything you want. Uh, excuse me. Yep. Are you still open by any chance? 
Wait. Is that... Is that my boy framing, eh? Huh? Paimon knows that voice. <gasps> Let's go check it out! <sighs> oh, what shit it is! It oh, and Lydia and Lynette are here too! Here. Oh, the fucking trio. <sighs> If only we'd gotten here a bit sooner. Hey, the Fontaine siblings are here. <laughs> it's all right. If we start building a campfire now, we'll be eating before too long. What the heck are these guys doing here? <laughs> right. Besides, if anyone's to blame, it's Linny. So busy being a greedy culture vulture. Culture vulture. <laughs> Linny, Lynette, Fremenay, it is you! What the hell are you doing in Leeway? Paimon? So, is the Traveler here? Yes. Right here. <laughs> Greetings. Traveler, Paimon. What a nice surprise. What a nice surprise indeed. <laughs> Paimon was going to say the same thing. We're just lending a helping hand at the inn. Fill the three of them in. Also, everybody stopped anyway, eating, so you can't order anymore. <laughs> well, what about you guys? Don't tell us. Uh... Father sent you on another mission? <laughs> That's just... Arlequeter just gotta set them here. Just, yeah, go eat and watch you win. <laughs> just just go there. The travel is right there. Like, you're all friends, right? So you should be... You should be plenty, plenty happy. <laughs> no, quite the opposite, actually. We're in Liyue on vacation. No. Oh. And while we're here, I thought a cultural tour might be in order. Didn't think, didn't think Alakina would give these guys a vacation, honestly. Uh, uh, father said we deserve some rest after everything that happened recently. Oh. Otherwise, it could jeopardize our next mission. Uh, the whole drowning of Le Leeway. Fontaine. Um, I, I, I mean, I guess Levi almost did drown too, but <laughs> more so Fontaine. It's not every day we get this kind of opportunity. Lenny thought it might be fun to spend some time in Liyue. Especially since it's lantern right season. And the cultural tour Lenny mentioned? We could hardly pass up the opportunity to watch a Liyue style magic show. What? Although, I think they call it Conjuring here. I've never heard of a Liyue style magic show before. What? Uh, in our time here, we've seen Conjuring tricks incorporated into a oh, Liyue that. opera show. Yeah. And even a Wusho dance. It was amazing. So, we decided to stay here for a few more days to see what other forms of inspiration this land might have in store for us. We visited Granny Roshin in Chingsa Village not long ago, and today we continued our cultural tour in the area around here. In the end, though, we lost track of time. We haven't even eaten anything yet. <laughs> well, too bad. <laughs> We're closed. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and speaking of eating... As you know, seafood is a big part of both Liyue and Fontaine cuisine, but it's cooked very differently here. We simply had to try some local seafood after coming all this way. That's another reason why we decided to extend our trip. Oh, need any recommendations? What have you tried so far? That fish one with the misleading name. <laughs> Sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chilies. Yeah, that really narrows it down, what the dish is. Yeah, that's something I wanted to think about, yeah. The name doesn't give much away. <laughs> it looked and smelled so appetizing that Lynette took a huge mouthful, blissfully unaware that she was about to set her mouth on fire. <laughs> she could barely speak for the rest of the day after that. Also, why does it not surprise me that Lynette's into <laughs> fish dishes when she's a cat girl? Uh, luckily, that wasn't a huge adjustment for her. <laughs> what? Wait, is that meant to be her tummy rumbling, or is that her Lynette just making noises out of her mouth? What? That was... different. <laughs> what? Aren't you guys hungry too? No, no, she definitely made that noise of her mouth. There's no fucking way. <laughs> uh... yes. A little. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. I'm ready to eat. Traveler... I'm afraid we'll have to send you back to the kitchen now. Fine, no problem. What would you like? Hmm, good question. I doubt we'll be able to decipher the menu, so why don't you recommend something? You should oh, be boy. pretty familiar with our tips. <laughs> oh boy, exactly what uh, Yan Chao just told us What's the worst case scenario. Oh well, okay, I'll figure something out. Uh, one more thing. Please, 
If you have a heart, don't make it spicy. Hmm. I'll think about it. <laughs> Can I actually choose to make the dish spicy? <laughs> I would love if, if, if I could. Just flat out disobey their orders. Anyways, what have you been up to? <laughs> would you three like to be one's children? <laughs> Would you three be willing to be adopted by one? I have four daughters under my belt, but I could probably use two sons and one more daughter as well. I thought the black back perch stew was actually pretty tasty. And now that you know it's spicy, you won't be caught off guard, right? Why don't we give it another chance? Once was more than enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, I. <laughs> Lynette will probably kill me if I make it spicy, so best if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Fontaine, huh? No wonder they can't handle too much spice. Still, if we make the food too bland, they might as well be eating back home. Uh, what you recommend, Chef? Hmm. There's this crab and shrimp stir fry I know that could work. Ooh. It's quite heavily seasoned, but it's a lot milder than it looks. It has a light but really satisfying flavor. Ooh, that sounds perfect! What's it called? <laughs> well, this is where it gets interesting. They call it the Palace Jewels. Oh. The crab roe is supposed to look like pearls of gold, <laughs> and the shrimp meat like chunks of jade. That's a pretty agnomatic name. Here's the recipe. When you're ready, go ahead and give it a try. Do I actually get a new recipe from this? Oh, hey, okay, here's a cooking mini game. I think I got this. Okay, <laughs> we're actually beating the recipe. All right, uh, shrimp, crab roll, um, snapdragon, egg, and flour. Okay, serve them up. All right, press at the right moment to prep. Okay, uh, all right. Oh yeah, I'm good at this shit. Here we are. All right, again. One, two, three. I I'm actually surprised they like full on animated us cooking. That's actually cool. <laughs> oh yeah, this is relaxing actually. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's a fucking smile. <laughs> okay, then uh, after holding release at the right moment to mix. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So, oh, ah, okay, and then you release around then. Okay, getting smaller. Yay, did it hit. Oh, I live for these precious traveler expressions. <laughs> All right, now press at the right moment to cook. Okay, so Sam's the first one, I, I guess. Uh, bam. Yeah, cooking completed. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. It's a shame I'm not not that fond of seafood. Otherwise, I probably would be drooling at the mouth right now. Wait, I can swap ornaments. Oh, I can. Oh, I can change out the dishes like, huh? Like presented. That's cool. Yeah, sure. Let's have a fucking plant up here. <laughs> Why don't we? And uh, some bird cakes as well. Yeah, finch cakes. Actually, they, those actually look pretty adorable, actually. Uh, okay, I don't want to put leaves over my, my food, though, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do the good old leeway fan. Yeah, I think that's good. And finish. ta -da! Challenge completed. Sorry for the wait. This dish is called the Palace Jewels. Enjoy! <laughs> bon appetit, as they say in Fontaine, right? Holy shit, I just realized how big those shrimps are. Um, <laughs> why the silence? Oh god. Um, Go on, try it. Ah, uh, yes. We meant to say, you two must be tired after a long day of work. Do you want to eat with us? Sure. Oh, now that you mention it, Paimon is a little hungry. Well, if you insist, then who are we to refuse? <laughs> but we'll still let our guests enjoy the first bites. <laughs> are they nervous? Oh, right. Of course. You're still our customers. Uh, why aren't you eating? What, do, do, do these guys hate shrimp? The sauce looks a little overpowering. <laughs> oh, 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 who did I fuck up? <laughs> oh, uh, according to Leo custom, 
It's probably good table manners to let someone else go first. You, you ordered the food, though. <laughs> Lenny, do something about your freaking <laughs> siblings. Well, looks delicious, traveler. I guess I'll dig in first. Here goes. What is it? Do you need some water? Uh, no. It's delicious. Okay, thank God. I thought I the fucked up or something. So pure. It's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. T try it for yourselves. Um, uh, all right. Would have been nice if they also went the extra mile and like added like mm. an eating animation, mm. you know? What is that? Crab roe? Yes, that it is. Yep, you have quite the palate, Lynette. No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. According to the creator, chewy crab complements succulent shrimp, <laughs> making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor and luscious mouthfeel. The crab roe glitters like pearls of gold, and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade. Hence its name, the Palace Jewels. So that's where the name comes from. Huh. I suppose it's quite fitting then. Although the names should probably be changed, because, you know, jewels can be also associated with something else. Huh. Was Paimon always this well-spoken? <laughs> Was Paimon always this... <laughs> this intelligent sounding? Uh, she just memorized what the recipe said. She's really... She's regurgitating what someone else wrote. This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. Uh huh? Oh, did she eat it all? Uh, it's half gone already. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> Probably busy when you were yapping away. I heard that in Liyue. The biggest compliment you can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate. <laughs> it's delicious. Thank you ever so much. That doesn't mean you can eat it all yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, then, well, everybody's full now, apparently. I think I'm finally getting the hang of chopsticks. Practice makes perfect, eh, Framey Boy? Uh, yeah. Well, Linny and Lynette picked it up in no time, but they're naturally dexterous. Unlike me, it's taken me a lot longer, but I'm slowly getting there. Oh, uh, speaking of chopsticks, in one of the shows we've seen here, someone performed a conjuring trick using a bowl and chopsticks. So, if I want to be a good magician's assistant, <laughs> I need to keep practicing. Oh, is it actually confirmed that Framine is, like, gonna be, like, performing with Linny and Lynette? I kinda wanna see that, actually. Also, speaking of Lynette, oh, there she is. <laughs> Back there, alright. We'll talk to Lily first, though. Lynette's not usually so forthcoming about what she likes, but this time, well, she's expressed it in more ways than one. I guess you've rubbed off on her too. <laughs> or maybe your cooking is simply too delicious to resist. The next time our paths cross in Fontaine, you'll have to fire up your cooking skills for my other siblings as well. How does that sound, oh great master All right. chef? <laughs> I forgot his siblings technically count the entire house of Hearth, so sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, oh great magician. When you were free, just set the date. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> well then, I'll have to clear my schedule. Hey, right, what about you, Lynette? Oh, of course you're staring at the cat. <laughs> of course you're staring at the cat here on the counter. Calorie surplus detected. Digestion mode engaged. <laughs> I never questioned this before, but actually I'm questioning it now. Why does she always speak in, like, robot lingo? <laughs> I've never seen you eat so much. Yeah. Well, Winnie and I are usually careful about what we eat, because we have to stay in performance shape. That, plus it's generally bad manners to overindulge at the dinner table. But once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself in the company of family. Besides, if I'd waited until my brothers were finished trying to outpolite each other, the food would have gone cold. <laughs> sure, that sure, that, of course that was your reason for fishing half the plate. Yeah, totally. So your friends like the dish, huh? Well done. Not bad at all for your first day on the job. There'll be more to come, so keep it up. Oh, that's it. 
Hey, all right, part one complete. Oh, we actually do get the recipe. Nice. All right, and then wait till the next day to receive more of your friends. Ah, okay, so there's a total of four days throughout this. <laughs> oh, if you click on the dish, it switches between the three. That's adorable, actually, the little chibis. Oh, I like that. Okay, but now on to part two. All right, but that was nice. I do generally hope we do get more moments with, like, the uh, Fontaine siblings sometime in the future, because honestly, they're, like, my favorite family dynamic th like, throughout the whole game. Okay, but now let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, skip the two days and then see what other friends are gonna show up here. All right, day number two. Give it up for day number two. Woohoo! Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. <laughs> I have to admit. I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end, but it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day to day here. So it should be plain sailing. Oh, well, oh, Farzan! As long as we don't run into any extremely picky customers with unreasonably <laughs> specific requests. <laughs> yeah, about that. Oh, shit, we're actually getting Farzan? Oh, have you had someone like that before? Okay, I, I thought we were gonna just get like the Fontaine and Leeway characters, but no, the Samir characters are showing up too. Shit. Oh, please tell me you also get some of the Inazuma characters here too. Of course. The worst are those old scholars who have barely <laughs> cooked a day in their life, but speaking of scholars, a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. Speaking of scholars, they criticize you for no reason, claiming your cooking <laughs> method isn't faithful to the original. Or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old <laughs> version of the recipe. Smiling and chill. Hey, hey, your description is becoming a bit too specific there, buddy. <laughs> um, also, sorry from if you hear me coughing, by the way, I'm so sick. But <laughs> I just had to play this event. It's just so good. This is Wang Shuin. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say every time someone else shows up. <laughs> I know that voice. Oh, innkeeper! We'll have each of your signature dishes, please. As fast as you can serve them. <laughs> oh boy, that wink. <laughs> ones. Farzan! Oops. Yeah, uh, Madam Farzan. Farzan. <laughs> oh my. Traveler, Paimon. Whatever are you doing here? <laughs> we could ask you the same thing. Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing? And to order the most expensive things on the menu? <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant oh, wait, as they travel the world. Wait, Dorian Layla? Oh my god, we, we also got another trio of Sumeria characters. What the? Oh, no, I never saw you. Oh, slow down. Oh, none of us slept last night. How come Madame Farzan still has so much energy? Oh, if she's really over a hundred years old, <laughs> I don't understand how she keeps going. Oh, shit. I did. Yeah, I, I thought we were just getting just Farzan. Never mind. Layla and Doria here, too. Man, it's been a while since he's seen Dory, actually. And also, yay. Yeah, I, I, I like seeing Layla again. She she was a great... I loved her hangout event so much. <sighs> it's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. <laughs> wait, wait, really? Dory? You paying expenses? Since when? Layla! And... Dory? <laughs> Never would have bet on this combination. Neither would I. I thought maybe like Alhatham, Sino, and Tainari, or and Kave too. But what the hell? Why do you all just take a seat and catch your breath? You want the three to sit and explain that you're helping out and walk you in. Chef, huh? Wow, no rest for the wicked. Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Leo S specialties. So why are you? Something about being an onboard consultant? A consultant for what? I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago. Oh. Cutting edge navigation technology. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. <laughs> to the fucking shine in her eyes. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Oh, yes, the Dornman Port mentioned. Let's go. When are we going to get that? Oh, 
Madame Farazan and me were hired to fine-tune the compass and other equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. That sounds like illegal overtime. Uh, overtime for which they'll both be fairly compensated. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. <laughs> Please don't find me. Please don't call the call the fucking ma uh, <laughs> matcha on me. You really cover all your bases, don't you? Let Pine on guess. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farozan is going for all the most expensive dishes. <laughs> It's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. <laughs> now, first up, we'll have the... <clears throat> Farzan, uh, Madam Farzan, that is. While I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in Liyue are usually either seafood-based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. Hey, you're not with me around. <laughs> now, I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. <laughs> huh. That's actually a good point. <laughs> Alright then, then we'll have the Adeta Sentation. Not to mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. <laughs> Are you sure she hasn't already fainted? Huh? Oh, that's <laughs> not because of hunger. <laughs> that's just because I'm just sleepy all the time. Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farzan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. Oh, well, of course I care about my students' well-being, but... Why do we feel like I'm being tricked? <laughs> so, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that, and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Over to you, Traveler. Okay, up to me now. This could be no seafood and nothing that takes too long to cook. The rest is up to you. <laughs> hmm. I had my eyes <laughs> I was, I was joking. Shoot soup and golden shrimp balls. <laughs> And I suppose they'll have to wait for the next time. I was joking about the Adeptus <laughs> Temptation. Years from now. <laughs> Aww. Madame Farazan looks so deflated all of a sudden. Um, please still try to choose dishes on the expensive side, okay? Alright, I'll try. Oh, it's so good seeing Layla again. Honestly, she's like one of my favorite Sumeru characters. And Farazan too. Farazan's fucking great. And also, Joy's just extremely funny to fucking watch. <laughs> So, expensive, but no seafood, and nothing that takes too long to cook. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. <sighs> Do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? <laughs> that Dory! Is she doing this on purpose? I bet more that she is. <laughs> this isn't Liuli Pavilion or Xinhua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. <sighs> well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. Oh boy, not a custom dish. As it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing reeds. Ooh. It can be whipped that sounds like quickly a, with what That's a cool dish name. Kitchen. One plate usually goes for 30,000 mora. Man, that's not expensive, not for me. 30,000? But if it's quick to make and isn't fancy, what exactly makes it so special? <laughs> the chef's heart and soul. Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish, you need expert knife work and very precise control over the heat. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads. Knead them together into strips, then gently stir-fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. I feel like you should be taking notes of this down in case I ever want to try cooking in the future, honestly. <laughs> this dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection, while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. Do it right? And you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. But if you botch it, it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. Oh, Paimon gets it now! So this dish 
dish gets its value not from the ingredients, but the chef's expertise. Do you think I'll be able to pull it off? Now, don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. You just focus on bringing it all together. Believe in yourself. You <laughs> can do this. And if you mess it up, Paimon will still be happy to eat it. <laughs> of course you will. <laughs> all right, let's get to it. Let's get cooking. God damn these animations, so I can't I can't believe they make custom animations just for this minigame and then it's just gonna go away after like a week or so. Ooh, that actually looks fucking good actually. I would I would so have that. I would so like order that if that was like at, at a restaurant. Uh, let's put red around it. Actually, yeah, this this red plate makes it look more appetizing. Sure, we'll we'll put the tree over this one. And then uh we'll put the a lotus there. Or tea. Now nah, lotus seems better, I think. Yeah, that's a good that's a good ash dish right there. Holy shit. Food's ready. Please enjoy. Bon appet oh wait no, you're from uh Samira. <laughs> what they say in Samira? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, smells delightful. Oh, we meant to ask, have you two eaten breakfast yet? If not, why don't you join us at the table? Wait, we're eating this whole ass meat for breakfast? <laughs> seems like a hefty breakfast, don't you think? Uh. Did Dory just offer us a free meal? <laughs> Why did she become so generous? Alright, who are you and what have you done with the real Dory? <laughs> Let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come whoa, on, come on, whoa, come holy on, sit down and join us. Everyone, dig in. <laughs> did she really just push us into the table? <laughs> this dish looks simple enough. And I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. Worst case scenario... Maybe 10,000 mora? Uh, triple that. This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Oh, so tired. <laughs> so sleepy. I just want to eat up and get to bed. <laughs> I love how the others are just like, man, I hope this food lives up to my expectations. And Leto's just like, I want to sleep. <laughs> I want to hit the hack. I want to hit the hay already. Come on now. Everyone begins to eat, each harboring Is their private content. Fowl? Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom boar. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something smoked, too. <laughs> Why does I shake it? Marvelous. How is this made? So the smokiness is from the ham. That was my addition. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we use ham, not minced meat. <laughs> Whatever I said. Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Oh. Haha, <laughs> so you've noticed. Yep, every single strip is kneaded from several different kinds of meat. Paimon and Yan Xiao put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Uh, so I'm not an expert or anything, but don't different meats have different cooking times? Uh, uh how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? Hmm, I didn't know that actually, that different meats have different cooking times. What? Well, you see, <laughs> um, that's a trade secret. It's just a matter of practice. I know some special cooking techniques. <laughs> wow. So this dish really is one of a kind. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? Uh, yeah. Something something 13 thing. Ah! Paima forgot to mention that part. The dish is called Trembling String. You write that, yeah. Reads. I don't know where I got 13 from. The way that the different threads of meat are woven together. And also, the complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble, the name, if I'm not mistaken, is a Leo idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Damn. Mm, quite an apt name for this dish. Uh, how did you know all that? Every student has to master at least 20 languages before Oh, right. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> is that not a requirement anymore? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it still is. <laughs> Or did they bump it down to 10? I think I remember, I hate them saying something about this. It's like, if you want to get into like one of the certain houses, I forgot which one, um, you need to learn at least like 15 languages or something around those lines. <laughs> huh? oh, that used to be a thing. Okay. Well, thank God that's no longer a thing. <laughs> Gee, that just seems a bit excessive. 
<laughs> also, I love little Layla's little, huh? What? Oh, Hyman almost forgot that you're also from Harabitat. Oh, right, Harabitat. That, that's a house. So, um, anyway, how much does this dish cost? 30k. Oh, don't worry, not too much. That'll be, uh, 30,000 more. Please and thank you. <laughs> she asked so fucking casually with that big ass smirk on her face. <laughs> 30,000? <000? sighs> That Paimon traveler, I merely invited you to join us at the table. Did I? You not? fucking. I don't believe I committed to paying for you. Hey, you can't back out now. So, perhaps we could split the bill accordingly. No. Oh, Paimon, I cooked it. it was too good to be true. Come on now, thirty thousand more surely isn't an outrageous amount for the most magnanimous Lord Sangama Bay. I'll talk to the boss. We should be able to do. Nah, thirty k can't be that much for you, can it? Famous merchant, you've got a reputation to uphold. Uh, but every single mora matters, you know? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. Once I'm back in Sumeru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. <laughs> good luck with that. And then I'll make it all back. <laughs> good luck finding a good cook as chef as a traveler is. I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirit. <laughs> I never thought you'd take on such a strenuous work. Uh, 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 my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Aww. Uh, maybe Hello, doggy. I can think of it as my first internship experience. Oh, but it sure is exhausting. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> uh. Also, very minute detail, but I, I like how when Layla sits on the chair, her hair like folds up. It's like be on the chair as well. I don't know why. That's just a super, super adorable detail to me. Well, and there's our Dory right over here. <laughs> How should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients? Huh. Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? By the way, that whole spiel about no seafood and not taking too long to cook. Be honest, he just wants you in to try and save money, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have known you'd see through me. Everyone was exhausted and seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. <laughs> well, you saw how that turned out. I tried placing some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <sighs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. Just treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. <laughs> you want to talk, Paimon. You feel it whenever you get the chance. Well, yeah, but that's why Paimon's qualified to talk about this. <laughs> Man, I, I live with these character interactions. They're, they're so, so good. Hello, Madam Farzan. Even though I didn't get to try Adeptus Temptation or Bamboo Shoot Soup, this trembling strings and rushing reeds was still quite impressive. Thank you for making it. I never thought he'd take a job away from any ruins. Well... About that, even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea, Dory's offer was quite enticing. She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and bring them back to Sumeru. <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. So I offered to join for the lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. Huh, one hell of a scheme, I gotta say. We're off to a good start this morning. Keep up the good work. I'm counting on you. Oh yeah, we have to we have to do the rest of the day, right? And well, we're done. I like this event. It's like not too long. Like it's, well, yeah, it's like a short event, but still, I, the character interactions are still so so good. I did wish we spent a bit more time with them, but this is still pretty good. Okay, on to day three, and then tomorrow day four. Ah, oh, the Layla freaking. Oh, she's asleep as well. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. And also, these chibis are just so, so adorable. 
<laughs> All right, on to day three now. Okay, I, I'm kind of hoping to get like Inazuma characters on this one. You know, just like a perfect balance, you know? And then maybe on the last day we get like Monsai characters or something. But yeah, so far I'm loving this event so far. The character interaction are just so yeah, so so good. It's it's also pretty chill as well. It it like doesn't take that much effort to like do. Like yeah, you just get to enjoy the character interactions more that way, honestly. But alrighty, next day. Morning. Time to fire up the stove for another day of customers. Thanks again. With day's experience of under your belt, the work is becoming Great second nature. Work. Well, you're looking more like a head chef every day. <laughs> Whatever crazy characters come walking through that door, I know you'll be able to handle them. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what kind of crazy characters is going to bust through that door? Hmm. Okay, when he's when he say crazy, part of me kind of wants a wanderer. Although I don't think he's gonna show up because Samir characters already appeared. It, I think I think they're gonna go through like for regions because like yeah, the first batch was like Fontaine characters. The second one was Samir characters. So I'm guessing we're gonna go like maybe Inazuma characters or maybe Ito. Ito. <laughs> I guess Ito classifies as crazy. I kind of hope he shows up. Maybe. Wait, no! Every time you say something like that, you take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh please, yeah, please let it be the Inazuma characters next. Hey, that's not true. Anyway, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> oh. oh my god, wait, is is it really? Dude, what up, bro? Oh fucking hell yes! You and Liyue, too? Ah, it's always nice to run into a broad and a zoom and fellow. But, wait, did I say that right? Almost. I think you meant fellow Inazuma and abroad, boss. Wait, who wait, who are they talking to? Ah, yeah, 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 that's the one. Yeah, we got a Oh, Ayato! This far from home. Don't we, Ayato? Oh my god, Ayato too? What are they all doing here? Oh my god, these, these are like my top three favorite Inuzuma characters all in one place. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh, boo checker! What are you doing here? <laughs> huh? Oh, hey, Flying Lavender Melon! Uh, of the sky cleaving white iron variety. <laughs> yes. And my compadre too. All my buddies in one place. God. Today's my lucky day. Today's my lucky day. Holy shit! All my favorite characters are showing up. Didn't you say you were gonna knuckle down and earn some more when you got home? Oh yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> back in Lily so soon. Ah, that can wait. As soon as I announce that Arataki Ito is available for hire, they'll be throwing more at me. Right now, I got a more urgent situation to attend to. I'm for some good spicy food. <laughs> he looks so guilty at the staring at Shinobu. Yeah, how's your freaking like automaton beetle coming or something? Like, yeah, wasn't he gonna create like a robot beetle that can like match every other beetle in the in the own Kabato shit? Oh, and uh, while we're here, we were gonna also see if Grandmaster Hanakato's okay and whatnot. Oh yeah, right. They they did leave him here. The look on Shinobu's face seems to say, don't ask. <laughs> so, uh, what about you, Ayato? What are you doing here? Not too long ago, I heard a rumor that someone was hosting an Onikabuto fighting contest in Liyue. <laughs> Is that really? Naturally, I came here as soon as I could. But, alas, it was too late. You, you were too late. That was last update, buddy. <laughs> you, you're miles, miles too late. <laughs> what? You missed it? Aw, oh, man, what a bummer. <laughs> also... Man, I, you, yeah, we need more interactions with Ito and Ayato because these two have barely interacted and they're meant to be bros and everything. Quite the bummer, indeed. <laughs> Though all is not lost. Since you're here, you'll be able to tell me all about it. <laughs> sure thing, my man. My but, man. Uh, let's catch up over some food, huh? Where's the chef anyway? Hey, hey, get the chef out here. I got compadres to feed. I'm the chef. Yeah, sure. Me too. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> wow, Bullchucker set up that one for us really nicely. Gotta give him some credit for that. <laughs> but the main chef is another guy. Uh, <laughs> good one, compadre. You almost got me there. All right, well, uh, get the chef out here. Uh, m the chef's already out here. <laughs> you probably go to the kitchen to fetch Smiley and Chow. So, uh, may I take your order? <laughs> if you're entertaining guests, I can recommend the Palace Jewels, a Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds, or... Boss, don't forget the budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, um, uh, got anything a little more uh, down to earth? Uh, down to earth? <laughs> also, what's that fucking hand animation? <laughs> down to earth. Oh, well, well, we do a mean humbly enough. 
real hearty dish with a ton of flavor, and we don't skimp on the portion size either. That'd be the best value for your mora. Humbly enough, huh? Oh, sounds like my kind of grub. We'll take that. No need for anything fancy. We're all friends here. Excellent choice, Ito. <laughs> I'm no fan of culinary ostentation either. <laughs> Sometimes a bro just knows. <laughs> it's so weird I had to say bro and <laughs> following like Ito's lingo. A bro just knows. Yes, a bro a just bro knows. A bro just knows. <laughs> bros don't suppose. Cause bros just knows. <laughs> I fucking love you, man. Fucking love you, Max Middleman. Oh my god. Is this for real? Oh, whatever. Paimon's leaving you guys to it. Also, Ayato can't just be here for the beetle fighting shit, right? Like, he, he, he's the ruler of the freaking Kamisato clan. <laughs> Does he even have time to just go ahead and just do beetle fighting whenever? He's gotta be here for something else, right? Also, where did Shinobu go? Oh, she's inside, okay. But hey, coincidence that both of you just happen to be here, huh? Seriously, if I blinked, I would've missed it. Crimson Staff just launched itself at Bloom Pruner and sent it flying! <laughs> I expect no less of the bona fide Beetle Battle King himself. It sounds like a truly epoch-defining duel. Man, I want to see more of the these two's, like, friendship. <laughs> Honestly. <sighs> the air was getting stifling, so... I made some excuses and slipped away. <laughs> anyway, thanks for taking the hint earlier. I'll fill you in later. <laughs> I had to slip away from all that freaking energy about beetle fighting after <laughs> after the shit we went through the last update. Also, I just realized our dishes are yeah, our dishes are being on display here actually after we cooked them. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, but uh, let's yeah. make some humbly <laughs> enough for uh, for the gang here. Gotta say, your friend's quite a character. Oh yeah. <laughs> Still, humbly enough isn't that hard to make, so I don't think we'll have any problems with this order. Actually, what is it called humbly enough anyway? A hearty meat dish is a good start, but in Paimon's experience, one humble dish is never enough. Uh, I said it was hearty, but I never said it contained meat. Don't be fooled by the appearance. It's actually just tofu, made to look and taste like meat. Tofu? What? <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, no, no, let's not do that. Guess we should get them to pick something else instead. What's the issue? I think I caught the word tofu. Uh, yeah. Wait, what are you doing? The, the kitchen is staff members only. Never mind. I'll let it slide. Ma'am, could you possibly ask your boss to order something else instead? <laughs> No oh. one gets my bro Ayato like I do. Oh boy. I hereby declare that oh boy. <laughs> will be an everlasting symbol of our friendship. Or my name ain't Aratakito. <laughs> Aratakito. <laughs> no, Ito, don't. No. Where's our food at? Hurry up. I'm almost done recounting the epic adventures of Crimson Staff. Uh, as you can see, changing the order may be a little difficult. Just tell him it has beans in it, and then he'll change his mind. Oh, brother, his whole ego is riding on this, huh? Oh, boy. Even if we break the news to him, he'd probably rather eat the tofu than eat his words. Well, we're locked in now. We gotta cook that dish. How about we throw in some free appetizers in? Sounds good. I'll make sure he fills up on those. We'll just have to play the rest by ear. No oh boy. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm gonna cook humbly enough anyways. Uh I never knew tofu allergy was even a thing. Okay, I'll I'll handle the appetizers. You take care of the main event. Ah, shoot, can I have talked to this money Yancho all this time but before cooking the dish? Uh... I can help too. Don't worry, I'm qualified. I passed Liyue's senior culinary exam once. Oh, is Shinobu actually helping out? That'd be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> actually, I'm going to go back to Ayato and Ito, see if they say anything else. Crimson staff. Okay, no, they just say the same things. All right, let's do this. Okay, actually, I, I do wonder, is there any consequences to messing up? Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> okay, there's no consequence to the messing up, but you do get a funny fucking traveler face. <laughs> Did you see the look on her fucking face when I messed up? Hold on, I want to do that again, actually. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's like she, like, fucking burned her food or something. Oh god, that's great. <laughs> that's actually great. Oh, that's too funny. That's actually too fucking funny. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch things up here a bit. Uh, Yeah, I'll put the mountain one and then... uh, 
<laughs> I guess I'll put in some tea for Ayato. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll present it like this. Ta-da! Humbly enough, let's hope Ito doesn't die. Uh, food's here! Uh, here you go. Oh, so this is humbly enough. You guys don't mess around. Woo, love me that portion size. Oh, boy. Come on, compadre, grab a seat. We're all friends here, so don't hold back. I'm just gonna dig right in. <clears throat> Boss. We should respect the local customs. Here in Liyue, it's polite to let the guests eat first. Polite? Uh, <laughs> Shinobu, I thought old-timey traditions weren't your style. Now that I finish in the kitchen, I'm a guest too. Maybe let me dig in first? Uh, yeah, let, let me let me eat this one first, Ito. Huh? Are you kidding me, compadre? Oh, wait, I get it. The food smells so dang good, now everyone's dying to go first. Well... Yes, I only got my own good taste to blame. Come on, dive in. I'll wait till last. <laughs> okay, well, uh, <laughs> okay. Now we just eat it all before Ito gets a, his hands on it. Uh. <laughs> you, Paimon Ayato, would help yourselves with very little <laughs> I see. of the thing. I think that was too quick to read. Finally, it's my turn. I spy a big chunk of deliciousness <laughs> with my name on it. <laughs> it's this fucking shot, though. Ito with that fucking crazy ass face of his. Oh god, he's gonna die. Wait! Don't. Huh? Wait, uh, what is it now? You got this, Paimon. You know the drill. <laughs> uh, okay, here goes. Anyway, so, uh, Paimon forgot to tell you the really cool origin story. <laughs> Origin story? Dude, who cares where it came from? We all know where it's going. <laughs> Am I right? Down the gullet! Uh-oh. Uh, well, um, skipping the origin story is like... Like, going to the <laughs> guide! Here, Paimon, you get way more out of the experience after you hear it. Paimon makes an astute observation. Much as every team... Of okay, I got to sketch on, that's good. <laughs> Is it not a waste of the chef's goodwill to sample a dish without hearing its tale? My compadre's goodwill, huh? Oh, can't have that going to waste. All right, then. Give me the full story. I'm all ears. That's more like it. Let's start with the ingredients. Uh, Actually, yeah, how about we just sit? No. Let's start with the story of Wang Xuan, <laughs> which starts with the history of Dihua. <laughs> how, how long are we gonna make this freaking story? Now's our chance, traveler. Oh, got it. Uh, what are we planning? If you're distracted, you and Shino begin to gobble down the dish. Man, the tale of Dihua Marsh hits hard. People in the past had it pretty rough. Makes you appreciate what you got. Humbly enough, yeah, that's a good way to think about life. <laughs> He's actually getting invested in the story. Darn, there's no sad way to tell so from here. How did we get so off topic? Uh, well, good news is there's only a little bit left. But we're already beyond stuffed. Uh, oh, compadre, Shinobu, have you been eating this whole time? Save me some dreads, why don't ya? <laughs> uh oh. That's it, I'm done waiting. It's my turn to eat. Wait, boss, that's made of. Uh oh. One moment, Ito. I have a small request, if you would be so kind as to consider it. I left home in a hurry and was unable to bring any of my family with me. Yep. They've all heard so much about you and are huge admirers of the Arataki gang. <laughs> so they will be devastated to learn that they missed out on this opportunity. Oh, I had to say, gonna say, can I bring back the rest, please? <laughs> However, if you were willing to let me bring the remaining portion of Humbly Enough back to them, I'm sure it will help to lift their spirits. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, he's catching on. Boss, you gotta do right by your friends. They're pretty big on that in Liyue. Besides, you did eat quite a lot of the grilled fish while we were waiting for the main course, including mine and Ayato's. <laughs> huh? Oh, those were for you guys? Ah, oh, dang it. I got too carried away telling that story, didn't I? In that case, pass my regards to your fan, bro. El Chefe, can we get the rest of this to go? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Anything to not make you eat the tofu. <laughs> uh, this event is great. It's so great. I have to get back to the docks as soon as this meal is done. Uh, so why'd you really come to Leeway? Well, uh, thing is... I can explain. 
Boss recently found work as a sailor, which oh. allowed him to hitch a ride here. A sailor, really? <laughs> After the ship docked, he had some free time to do as he pleases. He's been using that time to hang out with Grandmaster Hanakato. Just because he's here already. No other reason. <laughs> really? <laughs> really now? <laughs> then what are you doing? It walks you in. <laughs> Leave me harbor some way, way, way far from here. <laughs> okay, but what about you, Ayato? Count Crushmore. Instant kill. <laughs> I never knew there were so many elite beetle fighters in the way. Yeah, no, no, there's no way you actually only came for the only Kabuto fighting contest, did you? <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be tardiness of the most unfashionable variety. Yeah, I would think no, so. <laughs> in truth, this trip is part business, part leisure. How can we come to Lance right then? Every visitor has their own agenda. For some, the festivities are all the more reason to visit. For others, all the more reason to avoid the crowds. Oh. <laughs> in any case, one way or another, I seem to have ended up in the right place at the right time. Now, <laughs> as for the leftover tofu... Yes, I'm sure Toma will dispose of it as he sees fit. <laughs> as usual, giving Toma all your bad food. Well, I mean, it's not bad since I cooked it, but still... <laughs> Also, how we haven't seen Toma in a good while, honestly. I wonder how, like, he's doing. Like, yeah, I want to see Toma again, dude. Yeah, we haven't seen Toma in freaking ages. I wonder why. That's another order completed. Looks like that's all sorted. All right. Take some time to collect yourself. The next big group is coming in. You gotcha. The rest of the day passes without incident. Completed. All right, and now I have to wait till tomorrow in order to, uh, yeah, get the final friend encounter. Ayato, Ito, Shinobu. Oh, I'm looking happy Shinobu here. <laughs> That's actually adorable. Yeah, so far this event's been really, really great. I'm enjoying the hell out of these character interactions so far. Kind of wish we had more than just four, though. But hey, that's just me. All right, well, cut to future Space Edge when he does play the last encounter in this event. Alrighty, thanks, past Space Edge. Now, now today is finally the day where the last part of the Receiver of Friends of Far event comes out. And I'm willing to bet that this should involve Monsai characters because, yeah, because the title of the event is called Friends from Afar. It doesn't really make sense if, like, leeway characters just visit, like, during, a, like, a leeway-ish event, because otherwise that wouldn't be Friends from Afar, would it? And plus, you know, leeway already had, like, its own event with, like, its own characters and whatnot, so it wouldn't make sense to just bring in leeway characters again. At least I hope not, but, yeah, here's hoping we see Monsai characters in the, in this last part of the quest. But alrighty, I'm excited to see who shows up here, so let's go ahead and uh, wait out those days. Alright, back to Smiley and Xiao once again. Okay, should be the last day I have to do this. How time flies. My burns are almost healed now, so I should be ready to take back the kitchen tomorrow. You've really gone above and beyond these past few days. Last day today. Here's hoping we get through it without incident. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Actually, yeah, if a monster character were to show up, who would it be? I guess part of me is hoping Albedo, because we haven't seen him in a good, good while. And more Eula, too. We haven't seen Eula in a good while as well. Then again, maybe maybe Jean will come over, or maybe d will come over, or Kai for that matter. Actually, yeah, I just won't expect it. I'll actually just go and see. The day passes without incident. <sighs> we made it all the way to the evening. It ended up being a pretty smooth day after all. Maybe it's because we've gotten so experienced at running this whole thing. We've come a long way since our first day on the job, haven't we? Hmm. Back then, we were struggling to remember who ordered what. But everything's a piece of cake now. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Today is still isn't over yet. Yeah, but who would come by this late in the evening? <laughs> uh, actually, oh, kind of oh shit. Oh, yeah, it is Eula. Oh, Eula, Amber, and Mika. Today. <laughs> uh, turn around, fellas. <laughs> turn around. Traveler? Paimon? Fancy seeing you two here. Amber? And you and Mika, too! Are you here for dinner? Hey, I the Eula gang! <laughs> yeah, what what are they doing here? <laughs> like, everybody had a reason for coming here, but what, what are you guys here for? Actually, this is the first time we've seen Amber and Libe, right? Have you finally decided to go looking for your grandpa? <laughs> We just finished an escort mission for a merchant caravan. 
<laughs> the original plan was Eula? to do with some rations for this evening and continue our trek north towards Stonegate. Bro, bro, Eula just walked off and didn't say a thing to us. What the hell? <laughs> but Captain Eula brought up the fact that none of us have eaten Liyue cuisine for quite some time. We thought we might as well swing by the inn and see if we can still order something. Oh yeah, part of me keeps forgetting that Mika is actually part of uh, Eula's like, team. Like, the reconnaissance team, right? Yeah. Ooh, so this is Eula's treat, huh? <clears throat> We've been eating the same rations for the entire trip. So, I simply thought it was high time we had ourselves a proper meal. Do you have a problem with that? Okay, you like you, you can about you can stop being Cinderi for two seconds, please. Uh, um, welcome to Wang Chu Inn. May I take your order? Good question. What should we get? Hmm? Wait a sec. Why are you taking our order? <laughs> the traveler's been filling in for the chef here. You come at just the right time. You'll be the last customers to enjoy his cooking before the original chef takes back the reins. Wow, really? Good thing Eula suggested we come here. I wouldn't want to miss this. Man, we haven't seen Amber in forever, and Eula as well. I think Mika we saw, like, in a previous event not too long ago, but damn. <laughs> I have not heard Amber in a fucking while. <gasps> so, what shall we get? Hmm, I'm not as familiar with Liyue cuisine as I used to be. Mika, Eula, what are you in the mood for? Oh yeah, part of me forgets that, um, also, part of me also forgets that Amber has, like, a censored skin, quote-unquote. And that's why, like, she's wearing, like, more white instead of brownish. I don't know why they, they censored Amber of all characters. That still confuses me to this day. Anyways. Anything goes. I'm just looking forward to trying the honorary night's cooking for myself. I'm sure it'll be a great learning opportunity for me. Hmm, something small, I suppose. We have to hit the road again after we eat. Beyond that, anything goes. Wasn't it your idea to come here, though? <coughs> Eesh, this is like getting blood from a stone. All right, guess it's up to you, Amber. You name it, we'll cook it. Huh? Then I guess... Oh, come, come on, on now. Anything goes. Bro, you can't just go up to a restaurant and say, yeah, I want to uh, surprise me. You can't do that. <laughs> well, damn it. So I've been hearing about this Dolmen port a lot. When is it actually going to come to the game? I'm sorry. I really can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, I could pick from the menu at random, but I'd feel more comfortable leaving the chef to choose. Oh, one thing. I know I said I don't mind what we have, but no alcohol, please. Neither <laughs> of them can drink. It's a real pity. <laughs> Both of them are still underage for some reason. Uh, I've still got some sparkling water here. No thanks. Sparkling water is fucking yucky, I tell you. I, I don't like sparkling water. That, maybe that's just me, but it, it, it tastes horrible. Anything goes, huh? Oh dear. This is a chef's worst nightmare. With no idea of your customers' palates, you're left to make a wild guess. Still, now that you've worked in the kitchen for so many days, I have faith that you'll be able to figure it out. Go on. Show them what you've got. Okay, let me think. What do they like? What could they be craving? Um, uh, what's that called? Oh, sticky honey roast. Yeah, let's just make sticky honey roast. <laughs> and then they'll just love it. Actually, no, they came for Libby cuisine. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Well... Cook anything goes. <laughs> Are we literally gonna create a dish that <laughs> that is just anything goes? Okay, uh, ham, bamboo shoots, eggs, flour, and dragon fruit or thing, whatever. <laughs> okay, well, serve them up. I almost want to fail this on purpose again just to see like the wild lumine expressions. <laughs> what if it was like if it just? <laughs> okay, that's not the, the face I wanted, so I guess I shouldn't fail here. Actually, does she have any uh, expressions if I fail here? Oh, <laughs> just a disappointed one. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna <laughs> fucking up on purpose here. I think the expression I want is if you fail the last part. <laughs> yep, that's the one I want. Just, ah! <laughs> I don't know why, part of me just loves that expression for some reason. Alright, anything goes is completed. <laughs> Oh, what the? Is that's anything goes? Just plain old rice? Huh. With some, I guess, peas and ham on it. That looks kind of good, honestly. Yeah, let me just switch things up here. I'll have the light here and, uh... Sure, why not? I'll put in this, whatever this is. There you go. Anything goes completed. Mmm. Mmm, this is 
delicious. Perfectly seasoned, and even the rice is bursting with flavor. Nothing like a piping hot meal served straight from the stove. I've missed this. That rice actually looks pretty darn good, actually. <laughs> I just ate, and, I, and now I'm already hungry again. <laughs> You've put the finest Favonian field rations to shame, and that's no mean feat. So, tell us, Traveler, what's this one called? <laughs> it's literally called Anything Goes. It's Cubs! Um, Paimon's guessing we can't just call it Anything Goes, right? Oh, hell, Paimon doesn't know how to explain this dish at all! It's got no name, it's just basic ingredients simply cooked! Uh, uh, yeah, just straight up name it, anything goes. Basic ingredients? Simply cooked? Really? I could have sworn that you put something fancy in here, or gave it some kind of chef's magic touch. This isn't the finest dish in the world, but it's the one you need right now. Not the finest dish in the world, but the one they need right now. Okay, you've lost Paimon. What do you mean? Uh, you've been on the road for a very long time, and the only thing you've been eating is seed rations the entire time. So you mean... We only think this is delicious because we're so hungry? Mmm, there's got to be more to it than that. Perhaps the fact that the aroma of freshly cooked hot food is a welcome change from cold pre-prepared rations. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> oh, kind of like the feeling of waking up to the smell of freshly baked bread in the morning? Huh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's almost like we're back at Good Hunter again. Uh... But Good Hunter's in Mondstadt. Why make a point of trying Lyric Cuisine if you can't even taste the difference? Oh, I'm not talking about the taste. I just meant the feeling of comfort, you know? It's like the feeling of coming home. Nah, <laughs> the feeling whenever I go back to Mondstadt, honestly. Honestly, Mondstadt, yeah, I'm very, very much nostalgic for Mondstadt. And that's why I always, like, kind of go there whenever I want to, like, claim commissions. I don't know why, I'm just super, super nostalgic for Mondstadt for some reason. Like, lately. I really, really hope we get that Mondstadt expansion in the future. I, I do want to go back there, not gonna lie. Yeah, Mondstadt expansion when, mihoyo. Mondstadt expansion when. Comfort. Coming home. Well, Yan Xiao did say we want to make our guests feel right at home. What makes for a tasty dish is highly subjective. Everyone's got their own preferences. But a chef caters to all comers. <laughs> Gotta put ourselves in their shoes. And a chef's passion for putting smiles on, on their customers' faces. So in other words, the secret ingredient is passion? Oh, come on. You can't play this music right now like, during this. Come on now, game. Despite how terribly cliched that sounds, <laughs> I'll admit that it holds true for this meal. <laughs> well played. Mark my words. I'll remember this recipe. Ah, uh, not vengeance will be mine. <laughs> Okay, Damn it. you can't really have a recipe without a name, though, right? Have we come up with a name for this dish yet? I haven't really thought anything so far. Do you have any ideas? Hmm. How about right at home? Hey, that's not a bad dish name. I like that, actually. Ah, uh, that's how it ends. Ah, uh, that's good. Hmm. Hmm? Amber? Ah, uh, sorry. I zoned out just now. Didn't see you coming. Uh, got something in mind? It's probably her grandfather, right? Because, yeah, we haven't touched that about Amber's lore yet. It, for those of you who don't know, Amber actually had, like, a grandfather that was originally from Leeway. But I think he went back to Leeway, and Amber never saw him ever again. So I'm guessing that's what's on her mind, maybe. Yeah, that food you cooked for us just now? Yeah! The meals my grandfather used to make for me. I thought I'd forgotten how they tasted, but it all came rushing back. That's like the one facet of Amber's lore that I remember very vividly. He used to make Liyue dishes all the time. Yeah, there we I go. I my outrider training with him until the evening, then wait patiently at the dinner table. I'd sit there with the smell of delicious food wafting in from the kitchen, waiting for him to finally emerge with the goods. Sometimes we'd have Eula around for dinner, and even though she'd always find something to complain about, I could her... tell she really enjoyed the food. Because of course she would complain. <laughs> um, ah, so maybe she remembers too, and that's maybe why she she suggested you come here for dinner. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Don't ask her about it. She'll only give you another earful. Well, I'm gonna ask her about it, all right? Hey, you love. <laughs> the rations we brought were adapted for my signature moon pies to come up with something even tastier. I gotta hand it to you. You did a great job. Still, 
Please do drop by and try a few Stormcrest pies next time you're in town. I insist. I wonder... I actually never tasted pie before in my life. I wonder how it tastes. Because weirdly enough, in my country, um, they don't really serve pies all that often. I do want to try some pie sometime. And hey, what about you, Mika Schmidt? Back when I was on the expedition with the Grand Master, I was often put in charge of cooking. Under the circumstances, I could only cook some pretty crude meals. But everyone still enjoyed them a lot. Hey, you're one step above me, Mika. I can't cook at all. <laughs> Maybe passion was the secret ingredient then, too. Maybe. Maybe so. Okay, is that the, is this the end of the event? Are we just going to say goodbye to everybody? There you are. Thank you for all of your hard work over the past few days. My pleasure. Assuming I'm being paid, that is. <laughs> Straight down to brass tacks, are we? Here, take it. I've thrown in a little extra as well. Ooh. Call it a bonus. Yes, Our please. More here. primo gems. I need, I need more for Chiori. Yay! It's like all the tiredness and stress have suddenly melted away. I'm just lucky you only worked on this job for a few days. At the rate you were progressing, a few more weeks and I think I might be made redundant. Well, I for one look forward to enjoying your cooking many more times in the future. <laughs> Anytime. Bring some friends with you next time and... I'll show you all what Smiley Yunshao can do when working with both hands intact. Oh, I don't think I need to bring friends. I think they'll just come here if I'm here. <laughs> Great! Although, just to be on the safe side, cook carefully in the meantime. You may have just jinxed it again. Then again, I am surprised that Xiao didn't show up once throughout this whole event, considering we're in Wangchu and it all. Ah, uh, right at home. Hey, that's all. Of, those are all the four dishes I, uh, I made. Okay, but they're just for display and can't be eaten. Ah, uh, is that it? Yep, I am guessing that's it. There's no, like, conclusion event or anything. <laughs> of course, Yula's gotta be Cinderi, even in the chibi. No, oh, that's adorable. Okay, but I think that about does it for the receivers from Friends of Afar. Honestly, a bit of an abrupt end, but I still enjoyed this event nonetheless, just for the character interactions. Man, I gotta say though, I think my favorite one has got to be... I don't know, actually. It's like on the one hand, I really, really enjoy um, Ito, Shinobu, and Ayato. But on the other hand, Farazan, Layla, and uh, and Dory were, were also good as well. It's between those two that are gonna be like my favorite interactions. But yeah, guys... I think that about does it for, like, yeah, this event, everybody. Leave a like in the video if you enjoyed me playing through this event. Leave a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite interaction out of this whole event. And subscribe today if you want to see some more videos or streams from me. And also turn on that notification bell so you know when a video or stream goes up. But yeah, with all that said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all again in the next one. Alright, I'll be taking off now, guys. See ya!